Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. Uh, first, I want to say happy Thursday. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Please stay aware of your surroundings. And please, y'all, watch the company that you keep because it just may save your life, y'all. Or just keep you out of trouble, Okay. So, I want to jump into the story that's coming out today about Snoop Dogg's daughter, y'all. Um, Corey. They're saying that she suffered a severe stroke. Okay, y'all? This is what they're saying. And y'all remember the last time I did a video on, you know, Snoop Dogg and his family. It was about his wife because she's been sick lately. She's been, you know, losing a lot of weight and stuff like that. I don't know and what's all is wrong with her. But, um, yeah, they've been catching it, y'all. Let me see if there's an update on her condition as well, y'all. Because, um, I haven't heard anything else about it. But, I, you know, the last pictures that I saw of her, she wasn't looking too good. She had lost so much weight, y'all. So much weight. And I'm hoping that she's getting better. But prayers up to the family, y'all. Prayers up to the family. I don't see any more updates about the wife. Um, I don't see anything else about, you know, her condition or anything like that. Let me see. Yeah, when you pull up anything, it's just saying that um, the daughter had a situation. Okay, so it's saying that she has lupus, y'all, the wife. Brodus, who Snoop Dogg shares his longtime wife, Shanti um, Brodus, explained that she's been on, you know, pharmacy stuff for lupus since she was six. So that's what's wrong with her. She lost a lot of weight, y'all. She really did. I hope she's doing better, though. I really do. Um... They've been catching it lately, y'all. So the daughter, she posted a couple things this morning from her hospital bed, okay? Um, after suffering a massive stroke today. They said Corey, who uh, put on a significant amount of weight in the past few years, was an over overwise healthy young lady she she had gained you know she was always a kind of a thick perk yeah, girl but um yeah they're saying that she wow mm, mm, mm. this family is catching it y'all um i'm trying to see what all they're saying about the whole situation Corey Brodus, the daughter of Snoop Dogg and his wife Shanti, has been hospitalized after suffering a severe stroke. Brodus posted on her Instagram story from her hospital bed earlier Thursday morning, so this morning, saying she started breaking down crying when the doctors told her that she had had a stroke. She didn't even remember. Wow. In a follow-up post, she noted um, she is only 24 years old. And she added, what did I do in my past to deserve all of this? This is what she said. Um, USA Today has reached out to a rep for Snoop Dogg and Shanti for a comment. Um, I guess they haven't heard back yet. I don't know. Snoop Dogg and Shanti both are 52 years old. Married in 1997 and shared three children. Corey Cordell. Cordy Cord. Something like that. Corday. Cordell and Corey. Um, Snoop Dogg has a third son, Julian, um, from a separate relationship with Lori Holman. 
10%, it says 10 to 15% of all strokes occur in younger people, a number that has risen over uh, recent decades. According to a two, 2016 study by the Journal of the American Heart Association, um, there is an increase of 43 to 8% in hospitalizations rate in acute ischemic, I guess, ischemic strokes, y'all. They said this is when a blood clot blocks the blood vessel to the brain, leading to worse outcomes for patients between the ages of 25 and 44, based on data between 2000 and 2010. Y'all, some factors have been associated with the rise of strokes in young adults, such as high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, and recreational street pharmacy stuff. Okay, y'all? And, you know, a little too much sippy sippy. This is what they're saying that a lot of this is coming from. And we know a lot of young, young, you know, this younger generations, they're not really good at trying to be healthy you know they it's so much stuff that's out here that tastes good but ain't good okay y'all the pops there's so much sugar in it everything that's you know um used to not be so bad back in the days it's 10 times worse now as if they are trying to you know what i'm saying get people diabetes and all this stuff all this sugar they putting in these drinks and just just juices in in general and pops and this and that and that and this it's so much sugar in it y'all so you have to be careful of the stuff that you out here buying and drinking and you know it's good to diet and have yourself a cheat day and just have one day of it than to have a lifetime of it all the time. Just every single day you reach for this and that and that and this. Okay? And they're saying that the smoking and stuff has a lot to do with this as well, y'all. Okay? Not just, you know, um, you know, probably cigarettes that normal stuff people smoke, but um street pharmacy stuff too, y'all. And sipping too much. It's a lot of sugar in that as well, y'all. That can run up your blood pressure and, you know, mess with you if you're a diabetic and stuff. If you're drinking too much, that's why I say, you know, occasionally, fine, but not all the time, y'all. You know, that every day, some people just sit outside the store all day long, you know, running back and forth to get them something to sip on. But, yeah, this stuff is not healthy no more. And this is why so many young adults are getting sick, y'all. And not to mention, y'all, a lot of people start having so many health issues after, you know, y'all remember a couple of years ago when everybody was wearing a mask and getting sick and this and that and that and this. And then they was going to get stuck. And then they said that it, it increased people, you know, having, you know, heart problems and strokes and stuff like that. So, yeah, y'all, it's better to just be, you know, be careful about what you're putting in your body because I'm telling you anything can happen but anyway prayers to the family um they are catching it right now like seriously the mama and the daughter getting sick at the same time basically y'all so um girl take care of yourself take care of yourself and y'all prayers up for snoop and his family okay y'all but anyway y'all um please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching